money. Oh gosh, that's a big one, dude. Huge, dude, I'm talking big, big. Oh my gosh. Dude, that's a big boy. Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to another episode of Kicking Their Bass TV. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also hit the like button. If you guys have been enjoying the content, we actually got out this morning, filmed a top water video, and now we are back on a different body of water right now. We're actually on the big lake, and uh, we're going to be hunting for some big bass. We're throwing whatever we want today, guys. We aren't doing no lure specific video in this one. We're gonna chuck around a bunch of different baits and just try to catch some big fish before we leave out today. We're kind of on a time crunch, got a few hours to catch these bass. Um, it might rain here in a little bit, so we're just gonna put our heads down, cover a lot of water, and try to catch these fish. So I'm gonna pretty much start off today. I got a jerk bait tied on, I got a top water tied on, I have a Texas rig tied on, and then I also have an old chatter donk, which seems to catch some really big fish. So let's go ahead and get it started and uh, see if we can catch some. If you guys are enjoying the content, like the video, let's hop right into it. All right, let's get this started, boys and girls. We got a black and blue chatter donk. Got this on my custom pro Mach 2 rod. If you guys want to check out any of the baits and rods I'm using in the video, code, discount codes and links will be in the description box down below. But we're going to go ahead and start and uh, see if we can catch some of these big bass today. I think it's going to be good. If you guys are wondering about the conditions, pretty cloudy out. We got a little bit of sun that's peeking through every once in a while. It's honestly not too hot when that sun's not out, but once that sun starts blaring on you, it just it's, it's, it gets pretty hot. I think it's about 85 degrees today. It's been in the 90s the last few days, so it has cooled down a little bit today. And we're going to see if these bass are going to turn up and eat. I think we're going to end up catching some good ones today. We're just going to have to cover a lot of water, put our heads down, and figure out these fish. But let's go ahead and hop into it, make a lot of casts. Hopefully, our first one will be a big boy. Start around this, this bridge. A lot of fish will sit under it and sit off of it as well. So we're going to fish this really good. Sometimes it's a little weird. They won't turn on right away you kind of got to make a lot of casts and fire them up but we might be able to get some on this bridge right now all right we're gonna try out this little texas rig before we leave this bridge i don't know sometimes they'll stack on it pretty good sometimes they're just not on it but i want to throw this bottom bait just to see oh there he is yep and that's why you do that he ain't big but he's not a bad one not a big fish but that just shows right there guys that's a great little talking point right here we were about to leave the spot because we didn't get any bites on that chatter donk and we picked up a slow bait right here a little rage crawl by strike king it's one of my favorites and uh boom right away we just caught this bass so that just tells you you know sometimes these fish aren't active sometimes they're not aggressive they don't really want to chase anything they want you to put it in front of their nose and that's just that's what that showed us right there so let's throw a couple more casts under there. There could be a lot of bass stacked up, but they just want something slow. We'll have to stick with this one. Yep. Get this bait in the right spot. Have a five pounder golfer up. Gopher. Did you see that? What was that? Was that a bass? Dude, that was the weirdest bite of my career. Looks juicy, don't it? That was a boil right there. I didn't even look until the last minute. There's a boil right there. Yeah. They're just not eating it. 
Well guys, we're about to cut off this chatter dunk. I think if I had a white one, we could get bites. But I was like, you know what? Let me put on a jig and start skipping it under this and see if I end up having some bites. And then I just went back to think, you know, right when we were fishing that bridge, I threw that moving bait, a good couple casts, couldn't get a nibble. I picked up my slow moving bait and I had a bite instantly. So that could tell us something. These fish could be a little more finicky today. Mm, black and blue or green pumpkin. We're into green pumpkin actually. I feel like that's a better choice. I think more natural color, it's clear water. I've had a meat of black and blue really good out here, but I think that green pumpkin could do the trick. This is actually green pumpkin blue swirl. We're gonna skip it really good up in these trees. Oh, there's one chasing bait. Look at that right next to us, bro. He was just chasing bait right up here. Got my top water. See, what they're gonna do, since Noah wants to put on a bottom bait, they're actually gonna switch up completely with their technique and they're gonna start eating like top waters and moving baits, you know? Oh, these fish, man. So let's try this jig out and I uh, see if we can get something to eat it. Feel it. Gonna be a big, juicy mama. money oh gosh that's a big one, dude huge dude i'm talking big big this fish over six. Oh my gosh dude that's a big boy look how big he is five pounder <laughs> on the jig oh that feels good man we have not had many bites today it's been a freaking grind catch a toad like that let's get it that's a big fish right there let's get that jig way up in the back of this little creek right here have this big bad boy come up and eat it that's a freaking good thick fish right there <laughs> that's what we're looking for those big toads like that Thank you, baby. Look at that golden look he's got on him too. If these bites come slow today like they've been, but we catch this size, I'm not gonna complain one bit. Thank you, baby. <laughs> Give me something, Cody. That's what we're looking for. Damn. Didn't he, uh, he just fought weird too, didn't he? Yeah, at first I thought you might have foul hooked him. Yeah. Because the way, like the first time I saw him, he was a little bit sideways, but he was just fighting weird. Yeah, I had him hooked just weird in the mouth, I guess, and he just couldn't really move his body how he needed to. That was a good one. Well, guys, I think we can get another one up in here. I don't think he's the only one. He was way back up in that. He barely tapped this jig, and he was just running to the right. That's exactly how a big one would eat it. Hopefully, there's another one in there that'll eat. I don't know, I just made a lot of noise catching that big boy. Couldn't really fight back on me. I had him hooked or something, and he was just, I was toting him in, dead weight. I thought it was like a dang six pounder, but still a good four to five pounder. There he is. Look at him running. He ate it right off that tree right when I, oh gosh. He ain't big, but he's a good little two pounder. <laughs> He is fighting like a madman. It's so funny, man. These fish are finicky as can be today. Then when you get them on the hook, they're just fighting like a madman. There we go. That is a fat guy. His tail's not even filled out. His body, his top of his head is. It's a pretty fish on that jig right there. It's been tough today, guys. I, I don't know what it is, but these fish, 
They're just biting. So finicky. So, so finicky. Like, I never felt him bite. He was just walking with it. It's the only reason I knew he was on my rod. And it's so weird because when you hook them, they're, they're crazy. But to get the bites, it's just been so bad. I mean, we've thrown so many casts today. And I don't know what it is, guys. We've thrown a ton of different baits, a ton of different casts, fished up shallow fished a lot of cover fished offshore i mean we've done everything we can and we've only had a handful of bites at least one of them was a big one though i'm hoping that's what we're going to run into in a minute what do you think you think you think it's going to happen will there be another fish in the back of this little pocket Catch the same fish. That's a good one. Not a big one, but it's a good one. Dude, the bite's so soft, man. I can't even explain it. We actually just came back to the spot where I caught that four or five pounder. Cause I was like, there has to be more than one fish. Oh my gosh, he came off. It's all good. That was about a pound and a half. But um, I was like, there has to be more than one fish. I skipped right up in there. It took like three casts, but he picked it up. The bite's just so weird. Like I barely felt him bite it. I just felt weight. Oh my God, that was a lake monster. Please eat it, baby. Please eat it right here, right here, right here. Please. Do you think she's gonna have it? Cause I don't. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what is that? It's a bass. It's so dark. It's the darkest bass I've ever seen. That did not seem like what came up right there. Look how dark that fish is, bro. He has been somewhere tucked away, and this is his. Oh, calm down, Jimmy. <laughs> he had to take it, a leap. Letting it loose, ain't he? Look how dark that fish is. It's like a dang smallmouth. He's so dark, ain't it? He has been in a cave for at least two <laughs> years. I'll tell you that. But nice. Well, guys, we're about to take out of the water. It has been a tough little day. We were only out here for a few hours, but the storm is starting to blow in. The wind's picking up, and the fish just haven't been biting. I mean, the ones that have ate are just barely eating it and you barely even feel them. But what I will say is we have some catches from the other day that we're gonna roll after this because we just had some crazy days on the river. I mean, within two days, we caught over 70 fish, which is just crazy. So we're gonna roll some more of those catches. I hope you guys enjoy it. Hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the video so far. Let's get into it. <laughs> oh, 17, baby. 17, baby. He ain't big. He fights. These fish fight so dang good. He's fighting like a five pounder on a lake. Just look how fat those jokers are, dude. Man. I mean, the bellies on them are just insane. That's number 17. Gosh, that's a good one. Feels like a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. I don't know how big he is. It's a two pounder. Nah, it's a high one. Yeah, about a pound and a half. He seemed big. Yeah. <laughs> Lean into him, they just feel so freaking big. The fat bellies on there. It took a second for that spot to replenish, but it did. Don't get me wrong though, I want to do it at some point. Oh, did you see that? Yeah. Oh, what is this? Little guy? Or is he big? He ain't bad. Dude, he knocked slack in and I never felt him. I had to reel up and he was on there. He ain't big, but he's something. They eating it. I'll give them that. Little fat guy, Strike King Jerk Bait. If you guys want to check out any of the baits or rods that I use, I'll have the discount codes and links down below. But this color, they have just been, they've been tearing that sucker up. Okay. Oh, wow. That's a good one, buddy. Get that double up with Fat 
that guy. He was off the bank. I got another one. That's a good one. Oh, he's not as big as the last one. That was next cast, guys. Literally next cast. <laughs> Once you get these fish fired up, bro, they just keep going, don't they? They're hyper. Yeah. Just short and stout, just fat. That's how these fish are on this river. You don't find many just really big body fish, but they're always so thick and just fat and healthy. They're really healthy out here. Oh, that's a fat one, dude. Is it a bass? Yeah. That's a good one. Oh. It is a bass. Oh. He caught him right on that corner, didn't he? Yeah. What was he stuck in? Oh, I got one too, Cody. Oh, we got a big one. No, I actually got a big one. Oh gosh. Dude, this is a big bass. Oh, I think he's only two, two and a half. I thought he was three plus. Solid, like two pounder. This is crazy, bro. Look, yeah. look at your rod. It's still on there. <laughs> Double that. Dude, we are smoking him today. Give me some, man. Bam. Little knuckle touch. There's some good ones too. <laughs> They're just eating, dude. This is crazy. This is one of those days where we timed it right. You know, we got out here at the right time and they're just eating these big worms. This is this was a great little thing to film today. We're having a lot of fun. I would just go boom, 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 and then it'd be like boom, 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 boom. I got one. This is fun, dude. I've never just caught so many fish. I don't even know what to say, other than here's the fish, here's the release. Biggin'? Oh, <laughs> dude, that's a good one. He's fighting like crazy. Yeah, that's wild. Oh, look at that, you got him. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> you guys, we're catching them so dang good right now. All time and I got one. Oh, he came off. Damn. <laughs> oh, we had we've had one double up. Could have yeah. been two. That's a good one. Yeah, I like How about that. It's short and fat. Mm -hmm. Short and stout. That was a hard hit. That felt like a mud, but it kept doing one of those bass. Yeah, the they're hitting kind of like that mud though. You can't really figure out which one's eating it right now. See, I can tell by when I'm fighting them in, it kind of, if it's a mud or not. Yeah. Good one. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can double up with you. We'll squirt. I got one. God, he's running. Hey, yeah, that's a big one. Or not. Is he? I mean, it was a decent one. Why are they fighting so dang hard, bro? You notice how they like... <laughs> that's the fattest little sucker. Like, if I had a fish tank to put a bass, I would definitely put one in like this. It's crazy because, you know, they hit it and they run like 10 foot to the left. And you think they're huge and they're just really these fat brutes. <laughs> Wonder if they're back here. Probably are. Uh oh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Is this even fishing anymore? This is damn catching, Cody. Yeah, I know. This ain't even fishing. We're catching their bass today. <laughs> we doing more than just kicking their bass. He's up there on that little titty. You won't catch him. Right yep, and look at that. It? It's a bass. Yeah. Never would have thought that a bass would come boil at the surface and I'd be like, Calm down, Jimmy. Hey. Oh my gosh, you're a psychopath. Please stop. <laughs> oh. 